Welcome to the podcast where relationships, confidence, and determination all converge into an amazing heartfelt experience. This is Speaking from the Heart. Welcome back to episode number 65 of Speaking from the Heart. Today, we're going to tackle the inevitable conclusion of this year. The biggest thing that will ever happen to you in which that will change everything that you know about yourself. It will be something that is radical in nature, but yet you have to be prepared for what's ahead. And that is the new year. That new year is soon upon us, and I can't believe how quickly it has come by. And I'm sure that for you, it might be even a reflection of a moment of time in which you have to say, wow. I can't believe this has flown by. And even you might be saying, too, that you might have not done what you really needed to accomplish in this year. But yet, here we are. We're going to be setting goals for ourselves. We're going to be taking on maybe those challenges that we have in the new year coming up. And we're going to be planning. We're going to be putting together the things that we need to put together in order to become that new best version of ourselves. Because we are able to create not only those opportunities in our own lives by doing it by ourselves, which I'm sure we have done, or even with someone that has been an accountability partner in the past, but maybe some of those things that have been successful have now changed. They might have evolved into a whole new opportunity in itself. And you even have some things that are going to be taking even a little bit longer. Maybe these are the things in which you have been working on for over a year, and now you're going to be entering year two of the next set of plans. But this is always the time of the year in which I start to hear not only the little things that are being accomplished or thought about when it comes to what we want to be in the new year or even what we want to try as something different, But I feel that there's always this quote-unquote mundane repeat of the actions and steps that we're always going to take. I think that we often have to take a big step back and think, is this really going to work yet again? Are the things in which that I am going to set out for in this new year going to work out for what I think is really the best version of who I am now? Because let's face it, many of us were successful in doing what we were doing. And for that, I applaud you. Congratulations for being able to get to the end of your goal by achieving many of the things that were on your list before even this year started. But for some of you that are listening to this, you might have buyer's remorse. You might be feeling a little guilty about what you actually have accomplished. Maybe you are feeling a little bit ashamed of maybe those things that you should have been doing all along. But there's hope, isn't there? You're going to employ the same sort of techniques and the same sort of strategies that you have done time and time again and get back on that horse that you've been riding on, hoping that the same result that we have been doing over and over again will actually turn a new leaf for our own lives. Does that sound familiar? That's the very definition of insanity. It's doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, thinking that you're going to have a different conclusion, maybe a different result for that matter. I think that we have to think about not just those things that we have accomplished, not only those aspects of our lives in which we have worked on, but what has changed all around us that maybe those things that we were successful in doing before might not work again. It's a cruel reality, thinking that you're always going to be able to do the same thing over and over again, and you're going to have the same results. Great. If you think that you have set up that world for yourself, perfect. If you think that you have everything in order for that to happen, fantastic. But this message in this episode is for those that might not even be thinking outside of the box. The plan that we are going to be embarking in for the new year will be completely different than maybe other years past. As a matter of fact, you might be thinking that your purpose or that mission that you want to set out for in the new year is going to actually happen by simply switching on that new piece of technology that you have. Ever heard of artificial intelligence, better known as AI? 
This year really gave us an opportunity to explore more of the tools that are available because of the enhancements of technology to help plan those new opportunities. And feel free to use ChatGPT to be using the new co-pilot feature within your Microsoft Windows computer. Feel free to ask Siri to help you out with all kinds of other things that maybe you need to be working on as well. But I think that we have not only those responsibilities in which we're researching not only the opportunities that we have in front of us, but also behind us that we can rectify, but I think that there's something critical that we might be all missing when it comes to this big formula. Now, I might have been talking in riddles for the last few minutes about what I might be really hinting at. But if you have followed along with my many other episodes, even the last one for that matter, in which we explored those different ways in which we can tackle this busy season, I think that you will actually come to the conclusion that this episode isn't just about the fact that we need to have the right motivation or the right intrinsic qualities in which we're able to move forward. No, it's much more different than that. As a matter of fact, it's about not just having that intrinsic quality that we have inside of ourselves to be able to evolve and to create some of the best versions of who we are, to have the best of relationships with people and even new ones for that matter, to have the confidence to even hold those conversations and be able to hold ourselves accountable, but to have the determination as well. But it's so much more than just that. It's something that even I have stumbled upon in my new life that I've been trying to lead for so long, and learning that sometimes that solitary confinement that I have put myself through might not actually be the answer that I was really looking for to try to find that new solution. If you haven't yet figured out what I'm talking about, here's the answer in which we all need to be embracing as it comes to preparing for our next adventure in the new year, and that is our mindset. Now, I know that for many of us, we have talked in various episodes up to this point with numerous guests that we have been featured on this podcast, Speaking from the Heart, about the opportunities in which we're able to create those best versions of who we are, to be able to create not only those significant achievements that we have deep inside of ourselves, but to realize that we just need to have that switch flip on. And we might be pleading and arguing with ourselves and even others, for that matter, to have that answer once and for all. We might have been looking for something deep down in ourselves to which we might want to change that mindset, to which we want to have that new life, to which we have all those awesome resources behind us. But the thing is, mindsets are not handed out at the grocery store. Mindsets are not something that you can Google or even ask ChatGPT or Copilot on your computer. You can't ask Siri. You can't ask Facebook. You can't ask X, formerly known as Twitter. You can't ask your Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. Whatever method of delivery that you have used, you have to understand something right now. If you don't change your mindset for what you want to accomplish for the new year by investing in yourself, by reading good literature, by listening to the podcast shows like myself, even listening to the things that we have around us, we will never amount to the things that we really are able to accomplish. That is the bottom line. Did that sink in? Did you know that that mindset that we have inside of ourselves might need to be rattled sometimes, to be challenged to be able to move into a different sort of plane of existence in order for us to truly wake up to what's ahead. A lot of times, even in this past year, I have learned so much about not only myself, but the ways in which I have created that value in my own life. Starting Your Speaking Voice LLC has been really the truest honor that I have ever accomplished. Not just because of what I've been able to do. No, no, no. It isn't just about me in this whole adventure. It's been about all the different people that have come alongside of me to say to me that you have this gift inside of you, Josh. You have to unleash it into the world. 
And it's been about not only changing the status quo of what coaching has been all about, which I am on that mission of doing, to help others see their voice in this ever-changing world come alive. But I know that for some people, they're never going to be able to change that mindset until something changes inside of them. And maybe yelling into the microphone just now, hearing my voice tell you that if you're ever going to make a difference to change all the habits that you have inside of you, it means changing your mindset actually starts you on that path. I'm pretty darn proud of you for being able to listen to that and still continue with this episode. I often wish that I would have more people surrounding me on this new adventure that I'm on. And I know that even in the new year, I am the most afraid that I have ever been in my entire life. It doesn't mean that I'm scared of what it means to take chances or to be able to create that opportunity that lies ahead of me. But what it does mean is that I never felt so alone in my entire life at this very moment as I record this episode, thinking that the next adventure is pretty scary because I'm the only one that's on that journey all by myself. But as I continue to even think about the fact that there's been many people that have helped me this past year, I've realized something else. The goodness that's inside of our hearts are usually the ways in which we dictate how we move forward. How we accomplish what we want to accomplish usually starts with what lies inside not just our heart, but in our brain. The thoughts that manifest but even in the emotions that convey those thoughts. But even deeper than that, there's a soul inside of each and every one of us that has a fire wanting to continue to create not just those opportunities that we have inside of ourselves to see the true light that shines above all else. I think that we often forget about the fact that we might be the only ones that will have the right mindset in order to radically change the entire process that we've ever been through. When I was going through my suicide attempt three and a half years ago, soon to be four, as we entered the new year, I realized something about my whole body of thought process. And that is this. If we're ever going to be able to reach into a new adventure of a lifetime, in which we're going to be able to challenge not the ways in which we've been doing things, but to move into a path that we never thought that other people would support. We have to realize that sometimes it means taking a bold step in the right direction. Now, I get it. There might be reasons why you shouldn't do that, whether they're political, they're social, they're economical. There might be some feedback culturally, socially. Maybe there are other things that are happening that make you afraid being willing to take that first step. But I think that the plan ahead for you is really just starting with the basics. It can be as simple as picking up that book that you have laid around for over four to seven years. And I'm so specific about four to seven years is because I was doing that for the longest time. There was a book that has influenced me beyond all else. There has been something that had been missing in my life that I really wish that even as a kid, I would have wanted to have even around this time of year. That book isn't just any sort of religious text. It isn't just some sort of philosophy about what somebody else said. It's the book in which I wrote about myself. Never thought that I would be talking about my book about myself But the thoughts that I wrote many years ago still surface. You are nothing. You are not worth it. You are disgusting. You are a piece of shit. You will never amount to anything. You are not a good person. You will never amount to anything. You will not have a relationship with a woman. You will not ever overcome. You are a failure. And those words, even to this day, still radiate inside of me. They make me feel that sometimes I'm not ready 
for that next adventure that's lying ahead. But then I realized that that mindset that I was reading was really a past version of your podcast host, Joshua D. Smith. I don't know what lies ahead for you, and I don't know if you resonate with any of the things in which I say in this episode today. I don't know if I have reached the many people that I need to reach yet, but you know, there's something interesting about doing something like this type of project. It allows you to have the creative control and the ability to reflect on many different things that you can hear, not just about what you are doing, but what I am doing as well. Going all the way back to episode one, where I asked the question, what is on your heart? I think that we often have to ask ourselves that question, even in this season of busyness, which I challenge you on whether you are really busy on. Because I don't want to live in that mundane repeat of what I've been through in my entire life. And I know that for whoever's listening to this, I want you to know this. Not only are you worth it, but you will never have to make those phrases that I said just a few minutes ago come alive in your heart. Because you are something of great value. And if you are listening to this, and you are reflecting on what's lying ahead, throw that book away that is about you and your past. And get a new book in which you write those new versions of yourself, no matter how extreme they are, so that you're able to not only start changing that mindset that you have, but maybe this is the year that you, X, Y, and Z start to become not only the best versions of yourself, not only successful in what you're about to do, but you have a sidekick by your side. It's you, yourself, and me. Because I will always be there for you, no matter what. You will always have that person that will love you for who you are, no matter what. And despite what anybody will ever tell you in your entire life, know this. I appreciate that you are speaking from the heart. Thanks for listening to episode number 65 of Speaking from the Heart, and I look forward to hearing from your heart very soon. Thanks for listening. For more information about our podcast and future shows, search for Speaking from the Heart to subscribe and be notified wherever you listen to your podcasts. Visit us at www.yourspeakingvoice.biz for more information about potential services that can help you create the best version of yourself. See you next time.